prisons, that they're criminals, that they're rapists. What's up, family and so friends? There's a whole lot of them. And it's, it's, there's no excuse I'm for here at my apartment. to be here. And if they're committing crime after crime, but these are the most horrific crimes, but there's also other crimes that change people's lives. Hit and run accidents, drunk driving, theft going up in a number of, of places all over it's the country. It's a nice day, nice and sunny, nice and hot. accidents because these people don't have uh, car insurance and they're driving illegally. It continues to go on, and Donald Trump will get on the phone <laughs> with someone in Venezuela and say, if you don't stop sending these criminals here, you're going to pay for it, and you're going to pay for it in a really harsh way. Get it under control, and the idea now that you have a majority of people saying they want deportation is because of exactly stuff like this. People know people this is happening to, and they're tired of it. They don't want their kids or their wife or a family member to be next, or just another story. I believe out of Colorado, an illegal God's love a grandfather. is all you need. Um, all you need to know is understand the love of God, and you'll be all right. Crisis that the Biden administration has created and opened the floodgates, and they are not <laughs> trying to do All you got to do is understand Jesus' is love, and you understand that God's love is all you need. They're a wire service, so a lot of other outlets take their headline and run with it. And you see here two men, men arrested and strangled. God's love is all you need. So. They were illegal immigrants, and they leave that detail out. Yeah, and how do they even know they're men? Did they ask them what they identified with? That's outrageous. You know, the left always says silence equals death. Except they don't say that here when it's real. You keep quiet about these murders, more of them will come. I might silence be moving. Into a one-bedroom apartment. This is an efficiency. Only these, you know, these victims were trans indigenous. I got like animals. The culprits. A bunch of covers folded in half, and I made a bed topper. It's real comfortable last night. It was nice and chilly. I got cold last night. Here's my bathroom, shower, and tub. Police officers every year, which is false, or thousands of teens will kill themselves without act, without uh, access that's everything. To genital mutilation, all false. But when you have real examples of successive stories of horrible tragedy, nothing to see here. American girls and moms, they don't have the cachet of an ex con flooded with drugs or a pro Hamas protester pushed aside by a cop. It's no wonder Dems are losing women to, from their party because America is just losing women, period. I got to say, though, you have to remember all this stuff because if Trump wins, and it looks like it's going to happen, I think, I don't know, and the deportations begin, you think what are you going to hear from the media? Mm -hmm. You're going to have... If this was a fair election, AMC, Trump would win. The border, you're going to have... But the Democrats are going to do something. Accused of lack of empathy, lack of compassion, and they're going to pretend like none of this ever happened because that's happened before. Yeah, that's right. You know, Kevin, Joe Biden has a few choices. He could say the name Rachel Moore.